What's going on Foodie Ohana and welcome back to the channel. For today's episode, we are taking you guys along with us to one of our favorite date night spots. And you guys have been asking us where's our recommendation for date nights and someplace lovely you guys can take your spouses or your significant other. This is the video for you. So let's get going. Sorry guys, we had to move. Hey, look at this. Getting a forehead tan, so we had to shuffle down a little bit. So All right. Great. If you have not noticed, we are here at Arancino at the Kahala, and this is one of our favorite spots to come for date night. They're known for Italian fare, utilizing imported ingredients directly from Italy. Also, of course, using fresh local ingredients. So Arancino here is open from 5 p.m. They do take reservations, so highly recommend making reservations, but it is located here at the Kahala Hotel, and of course, Kahala. If you guys follow us on Instagram, we did feature their 10 year anniversary. They just made 10 years at this location in Kahala, guys. And check out our Instagram if you haven't seen that one. But today we'll be featuring more of the regular items in case you guys want to plan your occasional date night. Or any special occasions here at Arancino. And Arancino is also very loved among locals as well. There's a lot of locals that come to this location because... You just feel special here at the Kahala. And you can walk right near the beach after you're done eating. They do have like wine pairings here, lots of Italian wine as well, and champagne. Fun fact, they actually curated their wines based on their in-house sommelier's recommendation. So if you're a wine lover, this place is also great for you. Shall we get to ordering? Because I'm yes. starving. I'm starving too, you guys. And what makes this Italian restaurant so special is because they have a little tableside show. We'll show you guys when it comes later. Alright, so our cocktails have arrived. What did you get? I got the Sangria Fiore. It is a sangria with a choice of either white wine or red. I went with the white. Our server, shout out to Corey. She did say that this is very, very fruity and light, kind of like a juice, which is my jam, so I'm gonna try it out. And I got the espresso martini because I need a pick-me-up and why not have fun doing it? Cheers. Cheers for the Ohana. Happy date night. Happy date night. Oh, the espresso smells amazing. Mmm, very citrusy, fruity, light. You wouldn't think vodka goes well with espresso, but they make it really well here. It's very smooth. It is strong though, so <laughs> if you're not a big alcohol drinker, maybe skip the espresso martini and just get the straight regular espresso, but this tastes delicious to me. So if you guys aren't big wine drinkers, such as ourselves, they do have a cocktail menu, specialty cocktails such as these ones. They are very knowledgeable and recommended me something really amazing. So if you don't know, just ask your server. They will recommend you a perfect drink. We did put in orders for our appetizers, our insalata and antipasti. It will come out shortly. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is their house bread. It's freshly made. Focaccia bread. Focaccia. I was going to say Fiore like that. <laughs> oh, but I it's guess the Fiore is working already, huh? Oh, it smells so good. Well, let's get into the bread first while it's nice, warm, outside still crispy. Nice salt flakes on here, rosemary bits. Let's please dive into this first. So there's even like a drizzle of olive oil and olive oil on the side. Don't mind if I do. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. So light and fluffy. Oh god. It's fresh, it's simple, it's delicious. You can taste how high quality it is as well. The little hint of rosemary, it's not very strong. The nice essence of it and the oil is so high quality. We really should mm. save room though. We ordered quite a bit of things tonight, guys. Mm. Right. So carpaccio di pesce, Ooh. so locally fish ahi served with the sea asparagus, red onion, and the sauce is a balsamic vinaigrette. So we're using aceto uh, balsamico in Montebello. It's a 15 years age balsamic vinegar we bring in just for us to make this dish. Wow. This is our arancini. is a lightly fried croquette filled with bolognese sauce and mozzarella served with spicy arabella sauce. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, we that's order so flowers? pretty. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, I, I had no idea. This is our banya cauda. On the left, I do have the heated anchovy paste with raw vegetables on the side here to soak in. 
Uh, if you do have remaining dip, I do recommend trying it with the house made focaccia. Oh, you read my mind. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna go straight you. for that. Yeah. Can we just say I gotta? Hide, I'm like hiding behind this plant, but can we just say the presentation here is on point? That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, Furuhana. We've been here numerous times. I've never seen this dish. I never. We never ordered this before. Yeah, we never. Look at it. Should we try this first? Yes, we should, cause it's bubbling hot. It's like a cauldron of anchovy flavor. It's really strong. You can smell the anchovy. Mm. If you guys love anchovy, please order this thing. Yeah. It's a carrot. <laughs> If you want. Yeah, it'll be Bugs Bunny first. Yeah. Ooh, it's piping hot and bubbling. I got my little cucumber. Mmm. Oh, man. I put that dip on anything, I'll eat it. Oh, that is so good. Nice olive oil flavor, anchovy flavor is very strong, but not super, super overpowering. It is a bit punch in your face because it is anchovy. Nice and salty. I need the recipe for this so that I can make it at home and put it on everything I eat from now on. Corey also mentioned about the bread. It's refillable. So guys, this appetizer will go a long way. I love that here, they do a very innovative way of just classic salad. This is technically a salad. It's on the salad portion of the menu. So innovative. The banya cotta. You're not gonna order it for that. You're ordering it for the entry. It's just so pretty. Next, we have their very, very famous arancini. It's a deep fried risotto ball with their bolognese on the inside. A huge, nice chunk of cheese in there. On the side, we have a tomato-based dipping sauce as well. This is their in-house arabiata sauce. Ooh. Spicy tomato sauce. Mmm. Mmm. So cheesy. Mm. Nice crunch. Nice amount of meat in there as well. Nice and tomato-y, a little bit of acidity in there. Risotto, beef, cheese, all deep fried into a neat little package. What's more to ask for? I love too that it's very light. It looks like it'll be really, really heavy, but it's actually not super heavy. Tomato sauce balances out the fried goodness of the risotto, the cheese. Just a very balanced appetizer. Highly recommend getting that. And this next appetizer we ordered is their little take on the traditional Italian carpaccio, which is made with thinly sliced beef. This In this is... case, this is made with local cod ahi. Very fresh. It's called Carpaccio di Tomo. It's thinly sliced ahi with sea asparagus and fresh locally grown cherry tomatoes, olive oil. Oh. Mm. Mm. So light, so bright, very flavorful though. Ahi just melts in your mouth. I really taste the tartness of the local tomatoes. I love the balsamic, very nice and vinegary, tart, very fruity almost. The ahi is a bit leaner, so everything together just tastes delicious. It's not fishy whatsoever. I just got a hint of peppercorn, very mm. nice. That won't leave your mouth burning. Oh, there's a bit of the aria biata sauce. Oh wow, I can just eat this whole thing. <laughs> you guys want something healthy, light, appetizer dish? Mm. This is the way to go. I know we've been raving about this dish all night, but little quick tips that Alessandro kindly recommended to us. If you guys like a more robust flavor, let it sit because it is cooking. There is a little candle underneath that's cooking the anchovy dip and the garlic that was in there will be roasted garlic. So it acts as a roasted garlic anchovy dip. How amazing is that? We didn't really taste it until later after we let it sit for a little bit. Divine. And it's really fun too. The only hard part is waiting for it to cook. All right. This is our cacio e pepe. It's a traditional Roman recipe from Italy. And uh, it's cooked inside this pecorino, imported pecorino wheel. It's about, I would say, 43 pounds, just that side. So what we do is we light it on fire. So what this does is bring out the oil from the pecorino wheel. So they give more flavor to the dish. In the meantime, we are eating up the pasta. So this is a traditional recipe from the Rome region. During you know, the early 1800, 1900, the sheep herder would go, the shepherd would go up the mountain, bring the sheep to the pasture during the hot summer days. And uh, all they brought with them was just a dry ingredient that were easy to carry, not that heavy. So spaghetti was number one ingredient and pepper just because they like the spice. Uh, it's been used in Italian cuisine since the Roman time. And they created this dish, very simple, very flavorful, by using the cheese that they were producing up in the mountain in the summertime. Mix it up with uh, the pasta water and uh, the pepper. And that's a very simple recipe, but uh, very tasteful. Just three ingredients, that's what it was. But uh, it looked like it's uh, very decadent. 
because it is. <laughs> it's one of the most day. known recipes in Italy, table dishes of uh, the Roman cuisine. Finish it with a little bit more pepper. Thank you so much. All right, enjoy. Thank you. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, you guys. We got one of the most famous dishes, Roman dishes. It's called cacio e pepe, very simple. This is all done table side. You guys saw it in the wheel. It's still actually right there. I'm gonna take that home, I think. No. <laughs> I will. That sheep's milk wheel, it smells very strong and pungent, but guys, you can't go wrong with this dish. If you love cheese, you gotta go for it. Mm. 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 If you are a cheese lover, a cheese aficionado, this is the way to go. It's coated so perfectly. Every individual spaghetti is coated in that cheese. But not overly cheesy. A nutty cheese, I feel like. It's a little bit more pungent than a typical Parmesan, but not as pungent as blue cheese, if that makes any sense. It's so delicate, but so robust, full of flavor. And guys, I love the hint of the cracked pepper. Fragrant as well. It gives a nice contrast with the cream creamy cheese, the spaghetti is so nice and al dente. If you are al dente people, you will love how al dente this noodle is. He only had to toss it up a little bit. So flavorful. The cheese also is more of like a... This is very cheesy delicious. <laughs> I don't know what more to say. This pasta is called spaghetti ai ricci di mare and it is a uni with white wine garlic tomato sauce. If you guys don't know, Arancino is known for this uni pasta right here. If you guys have not tried uni, I suggest highly trying this. And I got a more meaty dish. This is the pappadelli alla bolognese. It's a very simple dish, just in-house made pappadelli noodles, which are these thick fat noodles here, which we absolutely love. Made al dente with bolognese made from wagyu beef. Oh, what more could you ask for? And these crispy parmesan reggiano cheese crisp. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, such a rich uni flavor. Not super duper overpowering, but nice and light. You can taste the tomato and the garlic shining through. Al dente. My dish, the pappadelli, is very chewy. Once again, we love the thick noodles. It's like a blank canvas that's ready to be saturated in flavor, and they do it just right with the bolognese here. The incorporation of wagyu beef makes it a little more on the fatty side, a more meat sauce, acidic ingredient, so it cuts the fattiness of the wagyu, but not so much where you don't appreciate it. So I really love this dish. I am in pasta heaven. We are just so gracious to have this opportunity to eat at this kind of spot for our date night. And we also ordered some more specialty cocktails. Mine is a wine. I actually got this last time when we did our Instagram reel here. I fell in love with it and I'm ordering it again. It's a sparkling red wine, correct? Yeah. Monte region where Alessandro's from. This is a oh. Brachetto Diacui. And I got the, it's a cucumber type of drink. Amalfitano. It's a Malfi gin con limone, cucumber puree and Moscato float. Oh, Corey wasn't joking. This is very refreshing. I thought the sangria was refreshing. No, this is like something you drink on a spa day. Also, I will say the bolognese, I feel like it's very kid friendly. If you have one of those like picky kid eaters that just likes a simple pasta with meat sauce, this is the perfect dish for them. But now the moment of truth. How was the anchovy dip an hour into the evening? It smells so good, guys. Oh, it's like nice and cooked. And Ooh, Alessandro so did mention that this is a really great way to enjoy this dish. And so that you don't waste all the dip. The anchovy soaked up all of that nice olive oil. Mm. If you guys are anchovy lovers, I guarantee you'll love this. This is the way to go, man. The roasted garlic is stronger in flavor. The anchovy is a little bit more salty. It is a little burnt tasting, but it adds that nice char flavor to it, which I appreciate anyway. It tastes like, you know how when you make a steak and there's like the bits on the bottom the of like garlic bits. or something? Yeah, it kind of tastes like that to me. I love here how they have such a wide range. You can do seafood, they have beef, they even have other types of pastas that you can try that sounded amazing. They have a risotto made in a parmigiano Origiano cheese wheel on the spot with truffles. Oh my goodness. You must order if you like risotto. 
We mentioned the accordion player. Awesome, legit OG guy. Just sitting there the whole night playing accordion. The ambiance here is very, very warm. It feels very intimate. And when you come here, it feels like they treat you like family. So guys, this pizza that we got is called Pizza Fungi e Tartufo. It's three different mushrooms, eringi, shimeji, maitake, and four different types of cheese, mozzarella, gorgonzola, mascarpone, and parmiot. Parmigiano Reggiano, God, I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the 50th take. White truffle oil and freshly shaved seasonal truffles. So there's a reason we got shaved truffles on there. So the menu items with the little cute mushroom icon next to it, that little emoji right there where my finger is, that means the chef recommends adding on freshly shaved truffles. They also do it with certain pastas too. Just look for the mushroom emoji. Ooh, nice char. It smells amazing. Mmm. Mm. We have that gorgonzola, nice, nutty, stinky cheese flavor, but in a very, very delicious way. That Creaminess of the mascarpone. Mushrooms give it that umami. I honestly can't differentiate the taste between the three different mushrooms. All together, that mushroom medley on here just gives it nice umami flavor. The bread is also nice and chewy. It's not dried out. It's not super dense. So the staff was nice enough to allow me to head in the back of the kitchen just to film a little bit of B-roll for you guys. Pizza dough, handmade, fresh, Every day, handmade, hand tossed, as you guys saw in the B roll. The oven is also imported from Italy. Because of that oven, that's the only way you can get this type of pizza, this brick fire oven style pizza. If you guys are big fans of this, this is where to get it. I mean, you got the char on the top, nice char on the bottom. And guys, I will say too, we're sitting right here near the entrance, and there is a lot, I mean, a lot of people coming for takeout here for the pizza and for their children too. So if you're staying in this hotel, and you have picky children who love pizza, definitely get them a pizza. It's delicious. Thank you, Thank you. All right, Furio Hana, now we have the secondi. Secondi? Secondi? I don't know, I just call it the beefy. <laughs> this is called the Bistecca alla Fiorentina. Let me know how I did. <laughs> but anyways, it's a sous vide porterhouse steak, 32 ounces, bone in. You can see the bone right here. And it's finished on the grill to the doneness of your liking. And Chef was gracious enough once again to cut it up for us, table side. And it's served on this hot cast iron skillet, so it's gonna char the bottom a little more. This is sous vide to order, so it does take about 20 to 30 minutes. It comes with the accoutrements of broccolini, rosemary potatoes, also toppings of mustard. They call it the triple crunch mustard seeds, but it's basically mustard seeds and plate salt. So this restaurant literally has everything. Our kind server Corey was even talking about the lamb, has a very nice like smoke show type of thing going on. Oh my goodness, this thing cuts like butter. Mmm. Mm. You taste that char from the grill. Mm, so juicy, so flavorful. You really mm. taste the rosemary. Personally, for me, I'm just gonna stick with the flaky salt. I love mustard seeds too because it has a little tartness to it. Definitely recommend ordering this if you want some meat in the dishes. Very high quality steak, you can tell. So there's two sides of the porterhouse, right? What is this side? I don't know. Actually, there are two sides to the porterhouse. The side we just ate was the strip loin side, or the, as you guys know, is the New York strip. The other side is. Oh, this side is so tender. Whoa. The very famously tender side, filet. This is where you're gonna get the most tender cut of meat. Is. It is on the leaner side. Oh, goodness. It literally cuts like butter. Oh, this is super tender. <laughs> Did I, do I need this? Yep. Oh. oh. Disintegrates in your mouth. Drop a comment down below. What are you guys? More of a filet, a strip, or a ribeye? We got two very, very famous desserts here. This one is called the Bonet. It is a signature dish of northwestern Italy in the region of Piemont, which is where Alessandro is from. This is actually his mom's recipe. So this one here is the Bianco Mangiare. It is custard on the bottom with a gelato and some shaved ice. But this is their local take on it with coconut flavors. And guys, this looks so pretty. If I must say anything about this restaurant, is everything is gorgeous here. Mm. Ooh, so light. 
so delicate. You it coconut just, lovers will love this. It tastes like a creamy halpia shape ice. If you're in the mood for something light because you ate too much food like we did, it goes down very easily, very light. It won't take up any more room in your stomach, but will give you the sweet satisfaction. Hey, it's not sweet at all. A hint of like sweetness, but mostly coconutty and creamy. Next up, we got the bonnet. It's a chocolate and amaretti custard, caramel, amaretto, di serono, and house-made whipped cream. Oh, this is a lot more decadent, I feel like. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. You get a nice bitterness from the chocolate, slightly sweet, not super duper sweet. I love that it's rich and not like super heavy, but a little bit more heavier than the Bianco one. If the Bianco is a slap, this is a kick in the face full of flavor. I do taste the amaretto chocolate. It's almost like a creamy caramel chocolate fudge. I like that it's like bittersweet and then the homemade whipped cream kind of offsets it. When you eat it with the fig jam, it tastes like the most delicious protein bar you ever had. Like a chocolate fig Newton. Very delicious guys, highly recommend. And also if you are celebrating a special birthday or anniversary, or when you make reservations, you can just let them know and they have a complimentary dessert for anniversary and birthdays. We saw some people getting it and it looks so delicious. Definitely, if you are going to be celebrating a special occasion, make reservations here at Arancino. The manager, Alessandro, was so kind enough to treat us to a little dessert. It's an off-the-menu dessert. It's an after dessert. <laughs> this is a cantucci, which is a traditional Tuscan-style biscotti dish. You have your almond biscotti, and then you have a white wine here. Nice and thick. There's a lot of bits almond. of almond in there. Oh, very hard. Mmm. I taste hint of lemon, orange, citrus. Very bright flavors. I love the almonds and the crunch in there. The biscotti itself is not super sweet as well. Perfect way to end this lovely, incredible evening. When you dine here at Arancino, it's like you're getting a tour of Italy, a food tour of Italy, which I think we need to do one of these days. Maybe a honeymoon? That's gonna wrap it up for tonight's episode on our lovely dinner date here at Arancino's. We had an amazing time. We hope you guys sure did as well. And if you guys have any other recommendations for date nights so that we can share with everybody, please leave it down in the comments below. And while you're down there, give this video a big thumbs up. It helps us out and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And we will see you guys on our next video. All right, Foodie, until the next one, enjoy your Italian bites, explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Good night. Oh no, I, I forgot. I was supposed to say something else. Okay. Did you used to work in Yes. And like an x-ray? Yes. Like, yeah. yeah. I took my grandpa there to get an x-ray for you. were so nice to me. Oh! oh. <laughs> really? You were so nice. This pasta is called... Oh, I can't see it. Sorry, we gotta use cheat sheet. We don't... Brachetto... Brachetto... Bro... What is it called? Oh. This is called B... I can't read it. Oh, let me do it. Let me, I got this. Let the man handle this. It was so crazy, Furiano. Amanda was like, what is that delicious smell, right? We forgot we still have the anchovy dip still cooking on the side over there. And it's been about a little over an hour now, so I think that's the ideal time to let it sit and cook. Okay, while you talk about that, I'm gonna eat my pasta. I'm gonna get into that later, but okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wait, let's switch. Oh, no. Why? Because I have uni. Oh, you don't like your food mixing? No, I don't. Par par Parmi Parmigiano Reggiano. God, I can't say it. Orange <laughs> shape the, the, the tape. Oh, yeah. Or you can wait. Or wait. <sighs> I don't know if you guys know Auntie Maria Lani, but that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Without the cooking part. Yeah. But Slowly it's going to come, you know what I mean? Yeah, anyway. <sighs> There's things in my pool. As a local boy from Hawaii, we're not used to wearing long sleeve shirts, so I'm sweating, <laughs> sweating up a storm. I'll take a very little bit. Okay, yeah, I don't even think I got it. <laughs> it goes down the hatch nice and easily. <laughs> did we mention the Arcadian player? Accordion. Oh, what did I say? Arcade.